not so slow coaches. There's nothing Thomas likes more than pulling Annie and Clarabelle along his branch line. But even though his coaches are very faithful, they do sometimes complain, especially when Thomas goes a bit too fast. He's doing it again, Clarabelle. I agree, Annie. He's going dreadfully fast. <laughs> I can hear you two. One day, Annie and Clarabelle were complaining as usual. Thomas, slow down! My couplings are cluttering! So Thomas decided to be a little cheeky. <laughs> oh, deary me, what are you doing, Thomas? Now you're going too slow. You'll need to speed up if you're going to get us anywhere on time. But I thought you wanted me to go slowly. Oh, well, if you want me to go fast. <laughs> Clattering carriages? Oh, that's much too fast. <laughs> cheeky Thomas. Cheeky, cheeky Thomas. <laughs> By the time Thomas arrived at Dryor Station, he was running rather late. <gasps> Cinders and ashes! I'm supposed to be taking some cars to the quarry after this. <whistles> oh! Meanwhile, Caitlin was pulling into the shunting yard. Caitlin was a very fast engine indeed. Hello, Caitlin. What are you doing here? I've been going so fast. I've loosened some bolts, Charlie. I need to go to the steamworks and get them tightened. Can I leave my coaches here and come back for them later? Sure thing, Caitlin. <laughs> As Caitlin pulled away, Thomas arrived at the shunting yard. Sorry, Annie and Clarabelle. I'll have to leave you here for a while. I'm late for the quarry. Well, if you hadn't been messing around, Thomas, this wouldn't have happened. Yes, too much going too fast, then too much going too slow. hurried up to the quarry as fast as he could. Thanks, Thomas. Empty cars and just in time. You're welcome, Mavis. <laughs> Then, he hurried back from the quarry, but... <laughs> Caitlin came back to the shunting yard first. I've come to collect my coaches, Charlie. Coming, Caitlin. Oh, I've got a joke for you. How do bees get to school? Uh, I don't know. On a school buzz! <laughs> Charlie was so busy joking, he accidentally shunted Annie and Clarabelle over to Caitlin, along with her own coaches. Oh, oh, Thomas must be back. About time, too. Don't go too fast, Thomas. Oh, Thomas? You're over there! Well, if he's over there, then who is pulling us? Fizzling fireboxes! Wait, Caitlin! Come back! This is the boss! 
fastest we've ever been. I don't like it at all. I've got my eyes closed. Does it help? No, not really. At last, Caitlin stopped at Wellsworth Station. Thank goodness for that. Hello, Connor. How about a race up to Ulfstead Castle? Oh, dear. A race? Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. You're on, Caitlin. No! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> we'll see about that. Ooh. I'll never complain about Thomas again. Nor will I. If I ever get Annie and Clarabelle back, I'll never tease them again. Thomas puffed as fast as he could, but before he could get up to Elfstead Castle... Caitlin! Thomas! Annie! Clarabelle! Thomas! Caitlin was already on her way back, heading for the mainland. Thomas had to stop Caitlin before she went over the Vickerstown Bridge to the mainland. Oh, no! I'm too late. I'll never be able to catch up with Caitlin now. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Hero. It's a good thing I've stopped Caitlin. She was taking your coaches away. Annie and Clarabelle, you brought them back. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Hero. Thank you indeed. Oh, Annie and Clarabelle, Sorry I teased you. And we're sorry we complained about how fast you were going. We'll never do it again. Thomas wanted to go even faster, but he was so happy to have Annie and Clarabelle back, he just smiled. Although you are going a bit fast now. Much too fast, if you ask me. You're so right, Clarabelle. Much too fast. Cheek.